We believe healthcare will be transformed by digitization. Technology will disrupt everything what we do in healthcare. So we have made huge investment in developing tools like electronic medical records, hospital management system, and uh, predictability in terms of risk scoring. Uh, the, all these technologies we are building in-house because we believe these, all these tools are going to transform the way patient is taken care of. Healthcare will become safer with all these technologies. Yes, yes. The, uh, we started this journey around 17 years ago. We launched a micro health insurance in the state of Karnataka with a premium of 11 cents per month per patient. And initially we had 1.7 million farmers. Now, then subsequently we had 4 million farmers paying just 11 cents. And they are covered for all types of operations. And under the scheme, about 1.4 or 1.5 million people had surgeries and 150,000 farmers had a heart operation. Then recently our government launched a health insurance across the country called Aishman Bharat with the idea of covering nearly half the country's population for major operations. We are excited and we believe it will be a game changer. See, the biggest bottleneck in offering healthcare in India, not is exactly the cardiac care alone, is the shortage of medical specialists. We need a lot more doctors, a lot more specialists, a lot more nurses, a lot more technicians. This is the biggest handicap. Our government is in the process of reforming medical education. They have replaced the older medical uh, council with the National Medical Commission with the idea of increasing the number of medical specialists. When that happens, we believe we will have adequate number of skilled workforce. And once you have adequate number of doctors working in tier two, tier three cities, the quality of cardiac care they receive will be much better. There are only two limitations what we have. One is the skilled manpower, other one is the capital required to offer the healthcare. Today, healthcare is expensive. So, for the desperately poor people, government has launched the Aishman Bharat. And we believe there will, and there are for the rich people, there are regular health insurance program. We believe there is a need for someone to come up with the financial intermediary for middle class and upper middle class people. Today they are paying money from the pocket, which is unsustainable. So that will happen. When that happens, we, we believe that India will become the first country in the world to dissociate healthcare from affluence. India will prove to the world that wealth of the nation has nothing to do with the quality of healthcare its citizens can enjoy. Now it is 10 to 12 percent beds are ICU beds. Ten years from now, 90 percent of the hospital beds, doesn't matter what specialty, 90 percent of the beds will be critical care beds. 90 percent. Ward and room is going to disappear. Ward and room beds are going to disappear. Whatever you are doing in the ward, you will do it at home, online. So. So, they have to change the way nurses are trained. When we train our nursing students, we don't train them in the ward. We train them in the ICU from second year, second year nursing students. And when you have that many ICU beds, intensivists cannot do the night duty. They will be at home managing the ICU from home. There will be only few, say, 200 bed ICU, there may be around 10 or 20 doctors in the hospital at night. Within five years, 
smart software will make smarter diagnosis than doctors and 10 years legally it will become legally mandatory for the doctors to get the second opinion from the software before starting the treatment. See, there are lot, both the countries have lot of strengths, lot of weaknesses. So, for example, we have been using some of the devices made in your country for many years, and they are of good quality. And unfortunately, we couldn't do those products here. Now, our industry is waking up, and we are getting lot of these products. So, similarly, in software, this country has tremendous strengths. So I'm sure with this cooperation, we will be able to help each other. So the, we, we don't differentiate between whether the product is made in China or US or India. If it is good, if we can afford it, we'll buy it. And your product is here only because of the merit.